All right, this is the volume mastery check. Our directions are to calculate the volume of each of the figures below. Well, remember that volume is the space inside the shape. And so to find the volume of a box like this, um, we're going to find the area of the base of the shape and then multiply it by the height. So the base of this shape is 2 times 3, which is 6. And we're going to multiply that by the height of 4. So we have 6 times 4, which is 24. We're talking about cubic centimeters because we're talking about three-dimensional volume. Same thing we're going to do over here. Find the area of the base. 10 times 8 is 80. And then we're going to multiply that by the height. So we have 80 times 3, which is 240 centimeters cubed. Now, when we find the... Um, volume of cylinders, we're going to use a similar idea. So for cylinders, we're going to take the volume, or sorry, the area of the base. So that's going to be pi times radius squared. So the area of the base is pi times the radius halfway across squared. Then we're going to multiply that by the height, um, which is going to be 6. So the area is pi times 4 squared means 4 times 4, so pi times 16 times 6. Because this says leave your answer in terms of pi, we can leave this there. We don't have to replace it with 3.14, which is what it means. And we can just multiply together 16 times 6. So that is equal to 96. So we have 96 times pi, and our units are inches talking about cubic inches for our volume. Okay, so on this one we're going to calculate the volume of the cylinder, use 3.14 for pi. So again, our formula is that we take the area of the base of the shape and then multiply it by the height. So I'm going to plug in what I know. I have pi times the radius, which is 2, halfway across, squared, times the height, which is 6. Order of operations says I have to do exponents first. So I have pi times 2 squared means 2 times itself, so 4 times 6. And multiplication order doesn't matter, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply the whole numbers together first, and then multiply by the decimal, 3.14, at the end. Um, so I'm going to now take 3.14 times 24. And again, I'm actually multiplying by 3.14 here because it says use 3.14 for pi. That means it doesn't want you to leave the symbol pi in your answer. It wants you to actually substitute that symbol for the number that it means, which is 3.14. So when we multiply this, we get 75.36. And again, I messed up on those units, but you can choose. We'll do centimeters cubed. And that's your answer.